While it's exciting to finally see the car on the circuit, most of the work happens well before race day. We iterate a lot at the top end of our concept, which in aerodynamics, and we use something called CFD, and that in effect is a digital wind tunnel. Once we think we found a design that is performant, we then build a 60% version of that and we put it in a wind tunnel. And that gives us the first indication of how is this thing actually going to physically perform on track. As it goes through that process, we'll then do a number of simulations against the, the tracks that are upcoming for each of the races. And we'll also give that setup to our drivers in the loop simulator. So the drivers can get an early digital feel of what the car and the setup may feel like when it gets to the track. You know, there's a lot of you know things that, that uh, you analyze or work on before you even get to the racetrack including of course spending time on, on the simulator as well you know to really try and optimize the, the car as soon as it, it hits the ground. We are not testing anymore it means that we need to pay much more attention to the data and the interpretation of the data and uh, how do you work with data and you predict data and so that's uh, clearly the, the path that we have to take. The difference is this, a car now, when you build it and bring it together, so 20,000 different components, you can build it in a week and it all fits together perfectly because it's been designed everything in a digital world. 20 years ago, you'd build it and a wishbone would be going through a piece of bodywork, so you'd drill that out, then you find an axle's in the wrong place. Digital systems are the only way of doing something as complex as building a Formula One car and then developing the Formula One car race on race. <laughs>